Yo, what is up guys, your boys Akage here with a animated what if, and this is what if Naruto was full Namikaze. All props go to Talos Sage for making this, show him some love in the comments, because the video was honestly way above my expectations, and I'm actually learning to animate myself, so in the future, you'd maybe have more of these more frequently, and as time goes on, the quality goes up. So, I hope you guys are going to enjoy the what if. We see a young Naruto walking in the streets of Konoha. As he was walking, he's getting objects thrown at him by all the villagers, but to his surprise, there were chains coming out of his back and blocking all the cans and bottles. Why? Why are they being so mean? I, I didn't even do anything. I, what did I do? This world, it, it's a living hell. Naruto quickly ran home, but all the time having stuff thrown at him. He got inside and sat in the corner of his room just sobbing to himself. But then Naruto heard a voice in his head. Hey kid, will ya? Wait, huh? Can my stomach talk? I'm inside you, dimhead. And can you keep all that crying down? I'm trying to get some sleep or I'll kill you. Naruto tried stocking more to this thing, but it never spoke again. Naruto was always crying out hard, so if the thing didn't and was trying to get some sleep, he would be quiet. Naruto walked around his room looking for things to do when he then saw a box under his bed. What is this? Naruto pulled out the box, and in it were many scrolls, but one stuck from the rest. It had his name on it. Naruto opened the scroll and tried to read it. Dear Naruto, Happy 16th birthday. We're sorry we couldn't be there for you when you were growing up, and I know you must be angry, but we wanted the best for you. We left some scrolls for you to learn from and be the hero you were meant to be. Make us proud. Love, Mom. P.S. Infuse your chakra to open the scrolls. Granted, Naruto couldn't read half the words on the paper. He was only six, but he got it for the most part. Naruto didn't know it, but he was crying, but not sad tears. He was happy. Naruto went to open one of the scrolls, but he realized he couldn't use his chakra. He still tries, but it was all in vain, and he ended up overexerting himself. So he was lying on his bed exhausted, thinking about what to do next. Then it came to him. Why not ask the old man? So Naruto waited for the start of the next month, which was two weeks away, and when Hiruzen finally came, Naruto asked. Here's your allowance for this month, Naruto. Try to spend it wisely. Yeah, 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 I'll try. But, hey old man, what's chakra? How does he know something such as chakra? He's way too young to know something like this. You are way too young, Naruto. So there's no reason for me to tell you. Not like you can do anything with the information. See you next month, Naruto. Naruto was frustrated. It seems like he's gonna have to take matters into his own hands. Naruto sat back on his bed and started punching his stomach, saying, Come on, Nine Tails, I need your help. Soon after doing this, the punches started to hurt, so Naruto would stop and he would just fall back in his bed and go to sleep. While in his dreams, Naruto was taken to a giant empty room. He looked around and saw a huge red cage and a voice coming from it. If we'll shut you up, I'll tell you. You have to learn hand signs to control the flow of your chakra. What are hand signs? Jeez, kid, do I have to tell you everything? Just look around and you'll know what I mean. Now get out. With that, Naruto got up to sleep with a grin on his face. Thank you, Ninetales. It was just morning time, so not a lot of people were out, but Naruto went outside and began to look if anybody was out so he could copy some hand signs. He was passing by a training ground when he saw two ninjas fighting. Before they performed jutsu, Naruto saw them make these symbols with their hands. Naruto started memorizing them and perform performing them on his own. Naruto does this for one month. We do a one month time skip. Horse, lion, boar, monkey, sheep, seal, water style, water wave, jutsu. Lightning, thunder, sheep, monkey, boar, lightning, monkey, sheep, sheep, monkey, boar, lightning style, lightning wave, jutsu. Earth style, earth wall. Okay, 
That's a good counterattack. But that's an attack move. I need something for defense. What do I do? What do I do? Oh, hey Ninetales. What do you want, kid? Well, I was wondering if you could teach me a good defensive jutsu. I've learned mud style, but that's pretty weak. You really are dumb, aren't you? I'm confused. What do you mean? What I mean is that you already have a built-in defense inside of you. Remember when those villagers tried throwing food at you? Oh, the chains. Yes, those chains, but be careful. I know that there are a lot of ninjas faster than them, so learn how to control them and take them out on your own will. Okay, also, what's your actual name? It kind of feels weird calling you Ninetales. It's Kurama Kid. Well, until next time, Kurama. Naruto, not really knowing how to use these chains at will, would just go back to studying from the scrolls. Three months would go by and Naruto has been learning everything in the scrolls. You see Naruto in his bed. He was just lying down because it's morning and he just woke up. Happy birthday, kid. Oh, hey, Kurama. Why are you so sad? It's your birthday. Yeah, the day my parents were killed and still I don't have any friends to celebrate it with either ways. Well, you know the scrolls your parents gave you. Go to the green and red ones and put chakra into them. <coughs> Naruto does what he's told, and in an explosion of smoke, out comes an outfit. Naruto was like, whoa, these clothes look fire. So Naruto would put them on and start moving around his room, like cheering in joy. Then Naruto would go back to his bed and think about something. Today I turn 11 and I'm supposed to go to the academy, but I don't want to live to protect anyone. I want to live for me, myself, and you, Kurama. You remember those people who were after us because of our power? Yeah, why? Well, I'm going to hunt them down. Ah, uh, kid, I'd say no, but there's no changing your mind. Ha, <laughs> Kurama, you know me too well. We skip over to the night time. Naruto has packed kunais and scrolls and also took all the money he had, but it was barely enough. So Naruto had a plan. On his way to the gates of the leaf, he would steal from the villagers who he hated and he would end up getting a lot of money from doing this. So he body flickers through the gates of the leaf on his adventure to hunt the Akatsuki. But little did he know that there were some people in black robes watching him from a distance. Is that him? Yes, indeed, we have found our target. Hey kid, save us the trouble and just come here. <laughs> I don't think so. <sighs> it's your fault. I tried being nice. Naruto, don't play around with these guys. They're a two ski. They come from a whole different planet and they're from a whole different skill range. Do not play around with these guys. You have to go full on if you want to win. Trust me, I won't. Thank you guys for sticking around to the end of the video. Again, the animation was 100% done by Talisage, so show him some love in the comments and check out his channel, I'll leave that in the description. And if you like it, like, and if you like my content in general, subscribe. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next What If.